Uh, lastly, I want to mention we have a bunch of columns at the end that target uh, the, the quality of forecast. OK, let me quickly just talk about those two. Uh, e is, as I said, is just a error. It's a simple uh, the difference between the forecast and then uh, the realization of demand. OK, so these are basically my, my raw deviations. OK. Then um, we will also need to uh, uh, square those for future calculations. So uh, I'll talk about that later too. In another way, we also want to take the absolute value. So just uh, remove the negative signs, OK? Uh, the reason for that is a lot of the companies just care about the absolute value of deviation. You will lose money if you over forecast. You will lose money if you under forecast. Okay, so the sign doesn't matter too much. You just want to look at the magnitude of um, magnitude of deviation. Okay. Um, again, some some people may say, okay, magnitude itself is not enough. You also have to compare it with the actual level of demand. A deviation of two points out of a hundred. I mean, a deviation of two points to when your demand is 100 is a lot less concerning compared to when your demand is like 10. Okay. If your demand is 10 and you're deviating by two, you're 20% wrong. Okay. So that percentage is also important. And <clears throat> this APE column is taking that into account. Basically, the way we calculate it is just by dividing the absolute, the absolute error term by the, uh, let's just call it blue, the absolute error term by the realization of demand. So, uh, sorry, I should have made this one blue. So three points, uh, point three errors divided by thirty gives us one percent. So right now I just have one person error. Okay, um, that gives us some perspective about the amount of error. Then uh, we have some uh, end of pipe calculation, end of pipe metrics. Okay, MD is your mean deviation. This is the average of deviations. Remember again, these are deviations. The average of these will be my MD. Okay, this tells me that on average, I'm uh, 0.9 above the real demand. So I'm slightly over predicting. Maybe my dampening parameter needs to be adjusted. Maybe I'm uh, adjusting too quickly to the, uh, reacting too quickly to the demand, okay? Uh, but a, a better metric is this MAD, okay? This is mean absolute deviations, okay? So this is this is actually the average of these absolute deviations. Uh, let's just give it a different color. And I might run out of color soon. <laughs> so um, what is it? Is it brown? Yeah. So the average of these brown values will be MAD. This is telling me that on average, I am... De I, I'm, I'm, Above or below by 1.48. And this is much more valuable information to, for me. Again, because I don't care about if I'm over predicting or under predicting. Mostly, uh, it's more about how how closely I follow the demand. Okay. And then, if if you want to also look at the uh, percentage. That's MAPE. So this MAPE is basically telling you it's the average of these apes that you calculate. So these lighter, slightly lighter blues, which will give you an idea of percentage-wise how much are you off. Okay. So the right now I'm four percent, about slightly above four percent off the value of demand. And this is super useful information. Um, and you can directly convert this to value to money uh, in a company setting. And then um, we also have mean score error, which is um, an, a smart use of um, exponential smoothing um, for getting an idea of uh, your mean score. Basically, we will start with some value, whatever it is, uh, this arbitrary value, and then every time. Uh, you will just update that MSE based on your new demand in, in, in C7 and also your old estimate, okay? So this is uh, something I have I have seen used a little bit less in industry. So uh, just uh, refer to your 
uh, formula for more details, we'd be just gonna quickly pass over it. But it's just we updated according to the exponential smoothing formula all the time, so we can get a better, a more um, accurate estimate of MSC over time. Okay, so that's not, that's not something I want to focus on right now. Uh, that said, I I want to uh, cover two more points here. Okay, you. Um, so imagine this is a very good forecast uh, because my red line is the actual demand. My green line is the forecast. It's following closely the um, demand, and, and that, that's good. And this is also shows up in my metrics. If you look at MD, mean deviation, it means on average, you know, I have some errors here, right? Sometimes I'm up, sometimes I'm, I'm down, but on average, they all cancel out. So at the end, Overall, uh, I, I fix my errors. If I'm up sometime, I will just go down in the next period. And overall, I'm, I'm, I'm OK. And if you also look at MAD and MAPE, you will always only one point deviated, and which is 33%. OK. Let's look at another estimate, another forecast that is biased. OK, this is what we call bias. Why is that? Because I am consistently over predicting. I'm always predicting too much, okay? Even if you are just too much, uh, you're above your demand slightly, but it's just the fact that it's consistent, that's a problem. That means you have not calculated things very well. So you are consistently making mistakes, okay? And that's something that will show up in MD, which says your order is always, on average, basically two points below. Uh, and Matt is also is going to show that um, again on average you are two points two sixty five two sixty seven deviated, which is eight percent. Okay, so when you have bias, MD and Matt, both of them will show it. Okay, what will happen if you just have variance? Okay, in this case, uh, this is not a bias. This is just variance. Basically, I uh, I sometimes over forecast too much, sometimes under forecast too much. But overall, I'm you know I'm not consistently up or down. Okay, uh, the problem here is MD will will uh, misinform us. Okay, this is mean deviation because the deviations cancel out. MD will be something close to zero. Okay, and then you think you're doing very well. That's why uh, we need to always use the absolute values. If you look at the absolute values, actually this forecast is now worse than previous forecast. If you look at that one, we had 2.67 for Matt. Okay, so this is worse. And also MAPE will also show it. This tells us that we are 30% off all the time, basically on average. Okay, so uh, that's another point about variance and bias. Those, th these are two things you need to be careful about in your forecast. 